if the UK leaves the Union, leaves the common fisheries policy, there won't be automatic access, and that's what the UK is saying, right? That's just a fact. It doesn't mean that they won't decide, perhaps, to grant reciprocal access for, for 2019, or we don't know how long that situation of no access would exist. Um, it isn't that it isn't without this problem, so the UK, they, they need to access the market and have relations, and there's a whole lot of things going on that, you know, impact their position as well. Um, so, so that's the general position. We're trying to deal with a variety of scenarios and prepare for a variety of scenarios, but there are a number of them which involve no change. Right, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Jeff, briefly, yeah. Um, if they were to grant access, say if the UK were to grant access, would they have to grant it to all of the EU countries or could a separate arrange, be, arrangement be made for, for Ireland or would it have to be for the other nine? The, the legal position in the European Union is that the European Commission negotiates with third countries. Mm. So if the UK is a third country, the European Commission will reach a European agreement with that third country. There won't be bilateral right, deals. Right, that's um, And that has generally been seen by the Irish government as very much in Ireland's interest because it keeps the fisheries issues linked from across member states and that we have a lot of common issues, okay. you know, maybe in different places, but the issues are common. But it also is linked to the market and other issues that the UK may not be in a strong position as it is on fisheries. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, if, if the UK leaves the union, it's the Commission who will be doing the negotiation. 